Welcome back to the channel and thank you for watching and if you do like my content I'd be really grateful if you like the video and subscribe at some point throughout the video. So believe it or not I believe there is the possibility of further defamatory statements in Amber Heard's interview. Yes I'm going back over that interview for further details and further analysis. Now I first had the idea for this segment when I did my video on Bill Cosby earlier this morning because the allegations against him encouraged 50 other women, 5-0, 50 other women to come forward to make their allegations in connection presumably with the case against him that was filed in 2014. And obviously that was delayed with the criminal trial, but more about that in the video linked in the description below. But then that got me to thinking more about this interview because I did think about it the first time when Amber was pressed about no other women having come forward to ever have said that Johnny Depp had assaulted them. And indeed there was cross-examination on exactly this point from Depp's lawyers during the trial and it's a very valid point. Now this is not to say that automatically anyone else failing to come forward means that there, there aren't any other people that have allegations but it's much more likely when someone is going to a trial such as this that other people come forward as proven in the case with Bill Cosby 50 other women came forward and doubtless in most cases like this other people come forward so that got me to thinking and I was thinking a little bit more about this in preparation for this video and in doing this video I am compelled to shout out the channel Lost Beyond Pluto which has also covered the Depp Heard trial extensively with some very good points and many of them mirroring the points that I've made I'm pleased to say and Pluto has also covered this very point in her video of yesterday. So I will link that video in the description below. Please make sure you subscribe and tell her that I said hi. So the point is this. Savannah Guthrie, a lawyer remember, put it to Amber Heard that not one other person came forward to say that Johnny Depp had assaulted them. This was one of the arguments his lawyers made in court and ultimately it's the truth. No one else has come forward to say that. Listen to this clip of the interview. He says he's never struck any woman. His lawyers argued at trial. None of his other prior relationships, not one woman has come forward and said he physically hit them. You were the only one. Look what happened to me when I came forward. Would you? Now, I don't know what your take will be on this. Maybe you'll leave a comment in the box below. But my take on this was that she was expecting this question. And that was a very polished response. Look what happened to me when I came forward. Would you? However, I don't know whether she's fully thought through or taken advice or whether her lawyers have fully thought through on what she actually said. Because what she said could be defamatory in and of itself. Because implying that they didn't come forward because of what she says happened to her, i.e. being sued for defamation and the trial and so on, she's inherently implying in my view that other people were abused but didn't come forward and chose not to come forward because of the risk of the backlash as to what amber describes has happened to her and just as an interlude if you don't mind me asking i have another channel called black belt secrets linked in the description below in which i might talk about many more things such as how i became a barrister the life of a barrister and many of you ask questions about the wig here and its origin and all of that sort of stuff i do have one video about how i became a barrister i'll link that in the description below i'd be really grateful if you subscribe there too because i'd love to share more of my daily life with you which would fit more on that channel than it does right here but now thank you very much and back to the video now she could have said maybe this hasn't happened to anybody else and only happened to her Maybe she could have said that it could have happened to someone else. She wouldn't know about it, but ultimately she doesn't know why they didn't come forward. Of course, at trial, she made allegations with respect to Kate Moss, who was then a rebuttal witness to say that didn't happen. And effectively, Amber was making that up. But instead of saying any of that, she said, look what happened to me when I came forward. Would you? In other words, would you come forward if that had happened to you? So inherently implying that it has happened to somebody else rather than saying she doesn't know, rather than saying it didn't happen to anyone else. She's effectively, in my view, saying that it did happen. They just didn't come forward because of this reason. 
This is effectively a new statement, more than what she said at the original trial, because this applies to now a group of people. So it's not only limited to what was said during the trial, for example, with respect to Kate Moss, but effectively anyone else that might have been in a relationship with Johnny Depp or anyone else that Johnny Depp has been around. She's essentially making this an allegation that they have been and haven't come forward for this reason, for fear of backlash. So that was an additional point that I did think at the time, but I thought of it again this morning doing the Bill Cosby video. And when I looked around to see whether anyone else had covered that, I noticed that Pluto had spotted that and did a video about that yesterday as well. So do head over there and subscribe as well. I'm sure you'll enjoy that content as much as you might enjoy mine. So please remember to smash the like button and the subscribe button. And as always, thank you very much for watching.